All right. It's actually drama time. The title is not clickbait. I'm a victim of racism. And usually, I'll show you what's going on. Usually, this, this is my Twitch uh, panel. This is where you can kind of like control everything. And I want you to look at here, okay? This is the mod actions. Shout out to Alicia X Life for giving us the fat raid last night while we were watching uh, ReZero. But there's this guy. A Y Y K K A K K, and what did he comment to get banned? Why your eyes so far apart? So basically, rather than saying you have squinty eyes, can you even fucking look, you Asian fuck? Can you even drive? You say this as a dog whistle. A dog whistle means rather than explicitly saying something, you will lose. It's like. It's like racism by being proxy, right? Like on TikTok or other form of content, when you see a bunch of people like stealing goods and whatnot, and if there's like a specific demographic of people doing it, what are you seeing in the comment section? Well, well, well. Dog whistle, being racist by being proxy, and I banned them immediately. And usually, that's it, right? This is not like new. Racism is always gonna happen. I grew up literally in a redneck town where I was the only Asian kid. I'm very fond of this. This is not a big deal to me. But here's the part. This is not a random chatter. If this was a random chatter, I would ban them and move on. But I did a little research. I clicked on their channel. And I noticed, oh shit, 2.3k followers. We got a fellow creator in here trying to start some shit. And now I'm going to crucify this guy for all he has. Because I don't start drama. I respond to drama. And I harbor grudges. I do not let this go. How do you know this? Just look at this. Right? The, the video when I'm not streaming right now, right? What is the video that's always shown? Where is it? Where's Fraud Lad of Culture? Yeah, this guy right over here. I'm never letting this go. You start shit against me, I will make sure I fucking end it. I harbor grudges, and I will not let this go. Let's look at this guy's channel. Hello, hello! Welcome to the AKK channel! I mainly stream Osu, but you'll see me branch out every now and then. I also play Valorant, Honkai Star Wars, Genshin Pokemon, and other games that sound fun with friends. Doesn't this sound like he plays games that has to do with Asian content? Like, you are an Osu channel. You literally main Osu. Who do you think created this shit? Who do you think created Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact? It's other Asian people. So you come into my stream trying to be racist towards Asian people. Then your entire content is based off games and different products made by Asian people. What are you fucking doing with your life? And then I start to try to think about like, why is he so mad? Well, before we do this, here, look at this too. This is the funniest part. Where's, where's this? Look at the rules, guys. Prefer English only chat. No racism, homophobia, or transphobia, etc. You don't even follow your own fucking rules. What are you doing, bro? And then I try to think about why would someone that is so anti racism, that is such a wholesome, good person, why would they show up and type this shit? I know exactly why. Because this motherfucker jealous. This motherfucker envious! He sees that I am popping off of my Twitch stream simply by just watching anime. And he's getting mad because look at his Twitch tracker. Let's look at this shit. Brother, in September 2024, you're averaging 22 viewers with a max of 59. The peak of your content creation career is this. This is Max Vera 2000, but an average of 53. So this is literally Twitch giving you a handout, a donation. Well, sometimes if you go open Twitch, what happens is that you get pinned on the uh, recommendation. Literally, like browse features or something, right? What happens is like when you're following like the homepage, you will kind of get shown in, in the main page. And that's how you get the viewership. But because this guy doesn't make good content, that max viewership doesn't mean anything. You literally average 53 when you were given an audience of 2000. And then look at this shit. Of course he'd be mad. He sees me popping off every fucking month. The lines just keeps going up, up, up. And you know what the funniest thing is? In September, the hour stream is 130. You know why? Because I got banned on September 11 for making an edgy joke. And then for two weeks, I was banned on Twitch and had to go to kick and I put in my eight hours there. And even when I'm banned on Twitch, and half of the monthly streaming content is gone. I still clocked in 130 hours. What the fuck did you do? 111 in September? 89? 
So let me give you some advice, loser. You are mad and jealous of my success. But if you could just use a little bit of that hatred, if you could just use a little bit of that energy and time of hatred and focus on your content and actually stream longer and actually make better content, I bet your ass could grow like me. But you can't. You know why? Because you're a pathetic loser. You are a pathetic loser being racist to Asian people when you literally play games made by Asian people and you can't grow. And guess what? I am now gonna make money off of you. Yes, that's the best part. Again, if it's a random chatter saying some heinous shit, I just ban and move on. But I noticed that it was a fellow fucking creator. Let's check out his YouTube content. Is the YouTube content doing well? No. It's dead. It's fucking dead. Listen, you just need to put your head down and go grind. What are you fucking doing? You're not making any content. You're literally lurking in my chat, hating my success. And now I'm going to dunk on you. And I'm going to make sure that people know that you are a racist person. And I will never let this go. Apologies doesn't mean fucking anything to me. I do not start drama. I end drama. And I hope that this will be a valuable lesson for you. But I know your ass is not going to take any advice. And you're going to continue to be a loser. Go fuck yourself.